It was Jackie Robinson Day on the south side of Chicago. Orioles versus White Sox. We pick things up in the top of the third. Michael Kopech surrenders a home run to Jorge Mateo here. This one gets out in a hurry, and the O's pull out to a 1-0 lead here in the third. In the bottom of the fourth, Yasmani Grandal rips one into the left center gap. This is going to roll to the wall. Andrew Vaughn is on his horse, and he is moving towards third base. And the Sox have a couple base cloggers in scoring position with one out here in the fourth. A red-hot Jake Berger whacks a sinker into right field. This is going to be deep enough to get Vaughn in. Yasmani stays at second as the throw will be cut off. And this ball game is tied at one. Top five now. Kopech back on the hill. He gets Cedric Mullins swinging. And Yasmani throws out Jorge Mateo. They get two outs. Ryan Mountcastle would line one into center field. But Luis Robert Jr. has it. And we're on to the bottom half. Andrew Benatendi with Elvis Andrews on first base. He laces this ball ball down the right field line. It's going to get into the corner. Elvis is on his horse. He is heading towards home. This throw will be cut off. No relay throw made and the Sox take a 2-1 lead. In the top of the six, Anthony Santander would Anthony send this one into the right field bullpen. It is now a 2-2 ball game. Keon Middleton comes in with the bases loaded and a silent Sox killer Jorge Mateo lines one to Andrew Benatendi. That will get a run in. Baltimore takes a lead three to two. Aaron Bummer would come in with the bases loaded. He walks Cedric Mullins on four straight pitches. The O's are up now four to two and the Sox are slipping. Bottom six with a man on Jake Berger. Blast this one deep into left field. That is going to tie the ball game and Jake Berger has his third burger bomb in his many days. The roller coaster would continue in the seventh. Graveman on to pitch to Hayes. This one is blasted. That is off the bottom of the wall. It's going to kick awkwardly. Robert to retrieve it. Hayes is into third base with two outs, and the Orioles are threatening here in the seventh. Ryan O'Hearn walks with the bases loaded. The Orioles take the lead, and the two out triple comes around to score. Elvis Andrews would lead off in the bottom half of the inning. He puts one back up the middle. Jorge Mateo with a headlong dive. He makes the throw to Mountcastle but it will get by and the Sox have a runner on. Andrew Vaughn now first pitch swinging. That ball is going to get into the gap. It's getting to the wall as well. Elvis Andrews on his horse again. El Caballo rounding third. The throw to home. Elvis is safe at the plate. The Sox have tied it yet again here in the seventh. We're all squared at five. This one would go to extra innings. Adley Rushman bounces one to Elvis Andrews to Lenin Sosa. The throw to first is not in time to get Rushman. The Orioles take a 6-5 lead. In the bottom of the 10th with the ghost runner on second base, Yasmani Grandal plops one down the left field line. Couldn't have thrown it in a better spot. Ghost runner Romy Gonzalez is going to come around to score. We are tied again in the 10th off the bat of Yasmani Grandal. The 23-year-old rookie Oscar Colas lifts this change up over Santander's head. Sebi Zavala will come in to score. The fans at Guaranteed Rate Field are going to go home happy. A roller coaster this one. The Sox take it 7-6. to six.